Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm, I'm Chris, I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube and we have another What's Sold video for you today. It's Thursday and we're gonna follow Kathy around to see what's sold for us today. Hey guys, yes, yeah, so I have a stack of things that we're gonna be pulling but I wanted to share this one before. Like I haven't actually done the label for this because this is one of the situations where it's like, okay, I'll just show you. <laughs> so the shoes, are 111.6, so if you add the box to that, it's just, just over, over two. two. So these boxes, as long as it's not a um, flat rate, you can cut them down right. or add extra to them if you need to. So um, I don't wanna pay, in this case, this person that bought these lives in Virginia, so that's already gonna be expensive even for two pounds. I charged her 9.99, if I can get it under two pounds, it'll cost me 10.68, so I'll just, eating the 68 cents but if i can't i have to pay 13.68 for a three pound rate so right um my other thing would be to try a padded flat rate which i don't think they won't fit they well. too big i just also wouldn't these are some really nice shoes and yeah. i just don't want to shove them in it there are i know i put a lot of shoes in polys but those are really nice leather like with right. those cuffs and stuff so. When we do padded flat rates, we try to lay the, the shoes side by side versus like how this is, because when they're inside there, they can kind of rub up against each other, at least the surface of, you know, the top, the uppers, whatever that part of the shoe is. So we're gonna cut so, this box down. Yeah, we'll just show you, we can. We did have a viewer ask how we cut our boxes down and it's pretty easy. Um, we usually just tape up one side, but we're probably gonna leave it untaped right now, just in case we need to cut. Sometimes all you need to do is just cut like half of this tab off here. If you only have, you know, like a 0.1 ounce or something, you can do that on both sides. You don't want to cut the whole tab off because that does keep the box square and you don't want to lose that rigidity. Um, <laughs> but what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it down a little bit more. So I'm gonna cut it here and cut the box and then we'll be right back. All right, so all I've done here is just cut up each corner and then folded these all down, kind of how you would a normal box. And then we're able to basically cut all this off and some of these off, and that should be enough weight. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that real quick and we'll see where it weighs in. All right, so I just cut off all the extra here and it fits really nice there. So that's kind of what we cut and it looks like we cut off a whole ounce. We haven't added any tape yet. So we did get it under. So, it's so yeah. 115.4. Let's just tape it real fast, but yeah, I'm positive it won't put it back over. It should leave. Was there, was there a sticker on those shoes? Not yet. I do need to add my thank you sticker. <laughs> and yeah, Kathy did mention you can do this to any of the priority mailboxes. You cannot modify any flat rate boxes though. So or don't. like the regional ones. Right, the regionals and the flat rates do not try to cut down or add to the Franken box. For the regionals, I guess I've never asked about that. Just take both sides then. All right, so. Yeah, we're good to right. go. And then just gotta add the label to that, and that one's just ready. Like, yeah, less than a point of an ounce, so. Yep, 1068. Um, people are probably wondering why I'm... So like recently I've just been doing anything that I know is kind of like between the one to two pound mark. I usually, unless I know it's gonna fit in the pot of flat rate, I just charge in 999 flat rate fee. I think it's easier than doing calculated shipping. Right. Um, so you might have to eat some of the shipping costs. We which kind is of expect fine, but that. But yeah, like then other times it's only costs like eight fifty to ship. The right. Thing. So it uh, it averages out in my opinion. I don't mind eating sixty eight cents. It's like not a big deal at all. Because right. um, these shoes sold for forty dollars plus shipping, and I pay. Let's see. So the Um, I had an average cost of goods that day was a little high, 11.36, but still 11.36 into 40 plus shipping, and I'm right. only losing out on 68 cents of the shipping. So um, versus it would have been what another three dollars if we didn't if cut it down was that an box. Extra pound, yeah. So, but if I, I mean, I knew how much these shoes weighed before I listed them because we yeah. do weigh all of our stuff. So in my head, I figured we could cut this down enough. Otherwise, right. if it's two to the three pounds, I usually do like 11.99. Yeah. Because then 13.68 seems to be 
it depends on where you live. So right. where we live in Colorado, the Pretty furthest central. you can go all the way to like New York is going to be 1368, like Virginia. Yeah. Um, and like California is only like to do three pounds would be like right nine bucks maybe so it's not too bad and we have a lot of our stuff going to california yeah, so, so it's well the thing really is when it when it comes to snow boot season and goats yeah. a lot of those go to the east coast because right. it's a lot colder over there yeah so. um but yeah so that's just what i do for my shipping costs i used to when i first started ebay do more like calculated shipping but it charges the buyer like their retail rate which is like a lot like yeah. if, if i did calculated for two pounds it probably would have charged them like 13 bucks right which I guess then you could keep whatever, but I think less people buy it. Like I was shopping the other day and I was like, Oh, I'd buy this and it was like fourteen twenty shipping and I know <laughs> where the person lives and I know it's not gonna cost that much to ship, so I was like Right. So yeah. Um I don't know. Whatever you like to do <laughs> is fine. I mean if we were only gonna be saving like maybe less than a dollar, we probably yeah. wouldn't go through all this trouble of cutting a box down. We'd just do whatever the next rate is. Yeah, so at nine ninety nine, um, I figure the most that I'm gonna lose out on is sixty eight cents. Like right. ten sixty eight is the absolute most that a two pound package is gonna cost yeah. no matter where in the US I send it. So that's again <laughs> from Colorado to anywhere but like if you live in florida say and you're shipping to california it's right. probably a little bit more than that so figure it out for your own <laughs> you know everyone's section. mileage varies when the because of yeah. your location so yeah and I, I did just use this little box cutter so nothing special um we don't have lonnie's box resizer <laughs> we probably should get one yeah. um um, they look cool, <laughs> but you don't need it, right? It's not something you need to cut a box down. You can do and it with scissors if you want. When I do it myself sometimes, and I don't know where that is, I just use scissors. Yeah. So. It's not the easiest to do, but <laughs> it's doable. The nice thing about uh, Lonnie's over at Shed Flips is it's got a perforating wheel to make folding down your, making new tabs straighter and easier. But again, it's <laughs> not like a requirement. So what else has sold for us? All right, we have actually a pretty good stack today. So these first ones are some play shoes. These I got at Once Upon a Child. I had an average cost of goods this day of $5.95. So $5.95 into $18 plus shipping on Facebook. Excuse me. Uh, that was an offer. Well, somebody, they've been listed at least a month. So someone messaged, I had them listed at 25 plus ship. They said, would I do 18? And I just said, yeah. I mean, if I just listed them today, I probably would have said no, but. $18 plus ship, my Facebook strategy for kid shoes and stuff is to make at least $10 profit, which I did, so. Right. Just move them along. I did sell these Old Navy Christmas. Uh, like, Christmas pajama stuff. Pants. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> so these sold, I had them listed, I think, at 20, set an offer to a watcher of 18 with free shipping, and they accepted. So I got those at the bins. Only have a dollar fifty four into them, and shipping costs four thirty eight on those. All right, and then A D. All right, and these are those Zaya Active shorts that I picked up just last a couple weeks with with Chelsea. Um, well, she wasn't at the store. I found these right. at Plato's Closet, but I'm on my Denver trip, so. If you ever see that little like moon, I think it's a moon logo. That's the Zaya Active. So it's one that's the like active wear brand where you have to either know somebody that sells mm -hmm. it or like go to a party or something. Oh. So it seems to well, this is only my second time finding it. And like I said last time, I haven't sold the first piece yet, but this one sold really fast. I think I listed them yesterday and they sold today for twenty five thirty three plus shipping. I paid eight dollars at Play Doh's closet, so Cool. Not a huge flip. I probably could have went a little higher seeing as they sold in a day, but I like fast flipping. Yeah, and Chelsea did put up her haul video from that little trip that uh, she made out here. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Yeah, I was watching it just a little bit ago. So. <laughs> uh, all right, and then I sold these Bionic sandals also on Facebook. A buyer messaged asking if I would do 20. I think I had them listed at 30. Um, Bionics, you know, I normally get close to around $40 shipped for them. Shipping was $9 on these. These are over a pound. So because I got them at a garage sale this summer for three bucks, I was like, yeah, I'll take that because mm -hmm. we're again coming to the end of summer. I want to get rid of all my sandals and the low cost of goods made it easy to just take the, like, what is that? 15, $16 yeah. profit. Turn that sound off. <laughs> all right. So to sell these Tava sandals on uh, Poshmark. These 
sold via a Posh VA offer that got sent out. $31 with discount shipping. I have $8.99 into them from Goodwill. All right, and then BZ. You sleeping hard, BZ? <laughs> okay, sold another one of these polo golf shirts. So I have, I always forget, like $10 to $11 into each shirt. But I got several of them at the one time and they've been selling off great. This one sold for 35. So this buyer got a posture VA offer like I think a week or so ago and then they didn't respond. And then yesterday they countered at 35. So their first offer they got was like 40 with discount stripping. So they just wanted an extra couple bucks off, which I was happy to do. So $35 on that. I did think it was funny because I don't, I don't know like about algorithms and stuff. I don't know how much <laughs> I like believe in all of that, but I had another person offer me on that $20 just before this person bought it for 35. Um, so he offered on two different of the polo golf shirts I have and he did one for 22 and then one for 20. Anyways, I didn't accept his offers, but I did put the two shirts in a bundle and offered them for 60 cause 30, I would accept 30 for each. Mm -hmm. Plus he was trying to, like he would have paid shipping twice had I accepted his offer. So I was kind of saving him like $7. I wasn't gonna accept the 20 anyway. So I just thought it was funny that he did not buy them. And then this person comes and buys it. I don't know. I just felt <laughs> like it was like a, something activity that was going on caused that to sell. In the algorithm that you don't know. quite believe in. Huh? <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> so it's, it's not hard. that I don't believe in algorithms. It's right. just. I mean, there's definitely some kind of it algorithm going on. happens on eBay all the time where somebody will either ask a question and somebody else will buy that yeah. right after or... It happens way more often yeah. than it should <laughs> if it was just coincidence, yeah. right? Yes. All right. So this actually, it sold, but I'm not shipping out today. I don't know if this is a viewer, but this person, Jeremy, if you are a viewer, thank you. Um, he messaged on Instagram saying, hi, I want to buy your Umbro New York Cosmos. Uh, hoodie and but he's like moving and he didn't want me to ship it till like Monday so I'm pulling it today and I'm gonna get it all packed up but I just won't drop it off till Monday so Jeremy scooped this up for $33 with discount shipping so a posture VA offer I have $6.99 into this one it did take longer than I thought it would to sell I've done well with umbro stuff especially like sport umbro stuff so. yeah yeah so thank you so much Jeremy and yeah, there is, uh, if you are a viewer, Jeremy, I, I don't know if you know this or not, but uh, the USPS does have um, something on their website where you can actually hold, they can hold your mail if you're like going on vacation or something. Um, so that if you do get something in your mail, you can collect it whenever you get home. Just, I don't know if you, if our viewers know that. he's moving into a brand new place, so he doesn't even have key or access to oh. mail or like. Like he can't mail something there yet because he doesn't. It's not. Well, his then place. that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yes. Doesn't have access to his mailer yet. Yeah, his we mailbox. always when we go on vacation, we always just stop right. our mail so it doesn't pile up because we, we have, have the community mailbox thingy. And they're tiny, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we're always getting big packages and. Yeah. We don't want them at our door either. Right. So. All right, some Crocs. He sold on Poshmark this morning. This was just an offer somebody sent me of eighteen dollars. I think I had them listed at 25. They're just little baby Crocs. I have $1.99 into them, so I was happy to accept the 18. All right, and then box of D, another pair of Crocs. All right, these are purple Crocs. <laughs> um, these ones sold on Mercari for my list price of $20 plus shipping, and I also have $1.99 into those ones. Those were getting a lot of interest. Somebody on Facebook offered me $8 and I just said, no, thank you, smiley face. <laughs> I don't know, like, it's just, what do you guys say? Just yeah. no, thank you. What we really need to do is get a canned response. We need to have something that we have pre-written that we just send out anytime we have anything like this, just to get rid of the thought, get rid of the headache or whatever, you know, just to, Pay, copy paste and yeah. leave it alone. If they want to buy it, they buy it. If they don't, they I'm move on. About saying, you know, we don't accept offers in the con in like the listing, right. but that's just 
I don't know. That just seems more because rude we than do often. Say, no, I don't want to accept your offer. We do often accept offers. It's just it really depends on the it, the situation of the item. Yeah, or how long it's been. It's us, It's only when I listed it like that day, which is usually when you get messages because right. people just see it get listed. It's newly listed. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> you'll probably hear us complain about that again, or at least me, because I complain <laughs> about it every day <laughs> to Chris. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, so these are some Jordan sneakers. These sold on Mercari. I sent out offers to likers on a few items yesterday that had a bunch of likes. This was the only one to accept my offer. Um, $45 plus shipping. I have $10.99 into the shoes. All right, in the box C. All right, so these on Kitizen, <laughs> some American Eagle jeans. Um, these are from the bin, so I have $1.31 into them. Sold them for 20 free shipping. Um, they are under a pound, so shipping costs $6.15 through Kitizen. All right, they are. This is a part right of Facebook sale I like. Just buy it. <laughs> Do not, no contact purchase. Um, yeah, so these sold for. $20 plus shipping. They're just men's like bike shorts, new attack. I picked these up for $5.69. So $5.69 into $20 plus ship. We've had some pretty good luck with bike shorts or yeah, cycling shorts, shorts do right? really well. They yeah. always sell really fast, even not for a ton of money, but they sell for sure. This was another Facebook one that was getting a bunch of messages. What so I if you haven't noticed, price. Facebook, you do have a lot of <laughs> questions and stuff. Yeah. It, it can be a lot to deal with, and we're finding that it is getting to be a lot to deal with. It is. <laughs> um, I mean, obviously, we are very thankful for all these right. sales. Um, I just have to, like, weigh the benefit and, the like, just the time that it takes to right. respond to all these things versus how many sales I make when I'm already pricing stuff lower than I would on other platforms. Yeah. So I make more even with fees and stuff like on eBay. Like, I'm still making more on the Crocs than I would if somebody just bought them at the $15 on Facebook. So. Yeah. And I'm sure you guys can relate. When you're constantly getting messages on your phone, the phone that you're doing your work from... And I do put it on silent. It's very distracting, and it keeps you from doing other things that's not even really related to that item. So <laughs> it, it just piles up and can be tough. So. <laughs> uh, so these are just some Columbia Capri pants. I also got these at the bin, so $1.37 into them. They sold on Facebook for $15 plus shipping. So. Not too bad, but yeah, two other people asked before this person bought it outright if I would take less. And yeah. I just said no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, these is... are just some Dance Go clogs. Uh, she bought them for $40 plus shipping. These are heavy, so she did have to pay $12 shipping, so all in about $52 plus tax. I did pay $12.99 for those because they were in such good shape, and Dance Go's do usually sell $40 to $50 for me. So. Yeah. Oh, another full price Facebook Jeez. no message sale. This one sold for a whole six dollars plus shipping. <laughs> this is just one of Chris's old shirts. I was gonna shirts, say that so looks like my old shirt. I honestly would have. I mean, obviously six dollars isn't great. I make like five dollars and some change off right. it, which is probably more than I paid for it to begin with. All of his clothes pretty much came from Goodwill, right. so I mean I that's probably more. Probably than... spent five dollars max on that shirt. Yeah. And I could have donated it and saved myself a few minutes, but... Or sold it at a garage sale for 50 cents. Yeah. <laughs> I decided to list it. <laughs> All right, okay. okay. Um, so this is actually, I think, going out to a viewer who did buy from us last week, but at that time I didn't know she was a viewer, but oh. she just commented on our video. You, well, you told me, right? Yeah, yeah. So Kimberly, um, last week she bought four pairs of pants on eBay. This week she grabbed these two Gap shirts from me, two Gap flannels. Right, and I think we might have suspected it was a viewer just because she bought yeah, for Yeah, usually when people buy more than one thing, right. I always think that. Um, so yeah, she grabbed these Gap flannels. I didn't like write out which one sold for which, but the total came to twenty five fifty six. So thank you so much. Um, that includes shipping and everything. So yeah, Kimberly, thank you so yeah. much. Yeah, Kimberly, thank you so much. And she left positive reviews on all the four pants, so that's... I'm very thankful for that as yes. well, because we are working hard to get our eBay number, what is it called? Feedback. Feedback just, rating. As much as we can. <laughs> yep. Thank you so much for the support. Yeah, and then this, I also didn't know was a viewer, except for um, she just commented on her. I saw a comment response today as well. So oh. uh, this sold to Jane. 
uh, just an old navy button down shirt. This is my son's. I actually bought it at Once Upon a Child for $3.50, but it was new with Tag when I bought it. Um, he wore it once for like 4th of July, and then I just went ahead and listed it. And she scooped it up for $11.88 free shipping. So Jane, thank awesome. you so much. Yeah, thank you for the support, Jane. Hope you like the shirt. And that is a super lightweight shirt, so shipping cost me $3.12 on that. And then box R, last but not least. Alright, Merrill sandals. These sold for $34 plus shipping. I have $34.13 plus shipping. I have $10.16 into them. Alright. So we do have quite a bit to go through and pack up. So we're gonna do that and we'll be right back. Alright guys, got everything packed up and ready to go. And actually this is the one that we need to hold off, but yeah, that's about what we have going on today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a, I wasn't supposed to thrift this week, but we went just a tiny bit this morning. I didn't get very much, but I'm gonna keep it in the car to like get the rest of this done. But yeah, because I, it was only gone a couple hours, but that just puts you behind on your day. So yeah. I, the 30 pairs of shoes from yesterday, I got half done yesterday, all the way listed cross posted. I just, I'm finishing up the last 15 on eBay right now. I have them cross posted everywhere else and then I'll start on a new batch of something. <laughs> so, yeah, and still in I July. think we're giving up on our <laughs> August at least. It's August. we're almost halfway through August and we haven't even done our calendar. That's been hard to keep up with, so been trying lots of new things this month and getting used to the kids being at school, which has been great and um, it's a really nice division right we have work time and we have family time and this is really the first time that we've had that so um anyway i think that's gonna do it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching and hope to see you guys in the next one bye